There will always be someone who doesn't see your worth. Don't let that person be you. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. In today's episode of 7 Good Minutes, we hear about five of the ways your mind is tricking you every day. Enjoy. Our minds are littered with booby traps, and if we're not careful, we fall into one of those traps, and all of a sudden, it becomes harder to feel happy and to develop yourself further. And that's why in this video, I want to give you five tricks that your mind is playing on you all the time and what you can do to escape those today. So the first one is the free trap. The free trap is when you think that because something has no monetary cost, it therefore has no costs of any kind. And you've seen this before. This is the people who line up for two hours outside of a new restaurant that's giving out $10 worth of food. And they're doing it because the food is free. Now, unfortunately, what has happened is because they hear that word free and they go crazy, all of a sudden they think their time is worthless. Now, it's likely that you do this too. I know I do. You sign up for a free email newsletter, not thinking about the space in your inbox and how it's going to slow you down in the future, or even really if you're interested in reading it. Your friend is throwing something out. They say, do you want this? You say, sure. And all of a sudden it gets put in your closet just to clutter up your space. Or somebody has tickets to a sporting event that you don't care about, a concert for the band that you don't really like, and you take them. You're super excited, and then you're waiting in traffic for an hour to go to an event that you're not that interested in. You didn't have fun at, but you do it all over again the next time you get the free tickets. The way out of this free trap to stop wasting your time and mental space on things that don't make you happy but you're just compelled towards is the $1 solution. It's very simple. Anytime something feels free, you're signing up for that newsletter, ask yourself, would I pay just $1 for this? Would I pay $1 for this email newsletter? If it's yes, sign up. But if not, it's probably not worth the dollar and therefore it's not worth the time. Your time is so much more valuable than that $1. So going to the $1 solution will save you a lot of trouble. It'll keep you mentally clear and quite frankly, make it easier to be happy spending time doing the things that you love. The second thing, much harder to catch in ourselves, is projection. Now, projection, you've seen this on television. It's the person who is screaming about homosexual behavior, how it needs to be curb stopped. They have conversion camps. And then in the news, three months later, it comes out that they're engaging in all of these same behaviors that they have screamed out against. Projection is when we have something inside of ourselves that we can't deal with internally. And in order to cope, we have to externalize the problem. We say the problem isn't coming from inside of me. It's out in the world. And therefore, I can fix it out in the world. Now, this is tough to catch in yourself. It's very easy to see other people who have a problem and think, oh, everyone else is angry. Everyone else is a jerk. But with yourself, the way you can start digging into this is to ask yourself what your most common judgments are about the world and people at large. So if you think that the world is really sad, news is so sad all the time, or if you think that people are idiots, God, they're always doing dumb stuff, it's likely that you haven't integrated those aspects of yourself, so you're seeing them in something as big as the world. Because quite frankly, there's 8 billion people. They're not all stupid. You could focus on any aspect of it. The aspect that you choose to focus on in the world, which is full of beauty, or in people which are completely varied, is the aspect that is coloring your lenses of viewing that world. So when you dig in, you go, wow, I think that the world is sad all the time or whatever it is. It's likely that you haven't integrated your own sadness. If you think that people are stupid, it's likely that you're having a trouble integrating the fact that you can be boneheaded some of the time. Now, this is tough to do. But if you ask yourself this question when judgments arise, number one, self-righteous anger goes out the window. It can deflate you very quickly. But two, you start to grow in the ways that are most important to you. These are your biggest blind spots. And projection can actually be a great tool for catching them. Now, the third one is social proof. Social proof is a great thing. You hear that all your friends are eating at some restaurant. It's really good. You go try it. You like it. Social proof worked. Excellent. The problem is when we begin to put social proof and authority in front of our own experience when it comes to determining what we do. We have a podcast on another channel on YouTube, and I was telling the story of a family in my neighborhood where I grew up, and they're having a wedding for their daughter. And the day after the wedding, they're having this big event with bocce ball. It's going to be a big expensive thing in sort of a Hamptons-esque area. And they're going to play bocce ball. And I thought that was interesting because bocce ball, if you haven't seen it, you throw one little ball and you got to get a bigger ball close to it. 
we've all played it in my neighborhood growing up once. And everybody played it once because nobody really likes bocce ball. It's not that fun. It's kind of like horseshoes with balls. And quite frankly, people have better things to do. But they're going to spend probably strong five figures in order to have this at their wedding event because it is socially cool. It's going to make for a good Instagram photo. And they've seen that the well-to-do have done this at their weddings before. This is a strong example of social proof and authority coloring what we would like to do. Because these people, I happen to know, would probably never have picked bocce ball as the event that they would do on any other day of their life. And they're not going to enjoy it on that day. So pay attention particularly to what you're consuming in social media because what social media tells you will make you happy is pretty looking meals or walking on the beach in some foreign country and especially if you're looking behind at a disembodied person whose hand you're holding while you smile. If you've ever seen those people out traveling, they are not having a good time while they focus on their photos. And if you focus on your own experience, like me, what you'll probably see is it's the day-to-day things that contribute to your happiness, and those are what you want to aim for. It's my walks in the afternoon that I would never take a photo of that most fill me up. So don't find yourself waiting at clubs to be in VIP tables where no one's happy because you think that's the case. Refer to your own experience, and you will make choices that make you happier in the long run. Please. Please keep in mind, this is about half of the entire presentation. If you're up for a treat, you should definitely listen to the whole thing. You can do so by clicking the link labeled View the Full Video on YouTube in the show notes. So that does it for this episode of 7 Good Minutes. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.